What's up gamers? I'm Sage and I'm a massive Legend of Zelda fan. I have a Breath of the Wild tattoo. I have posters all over my walls. I have a Zelda something in every single room of my house. I cannot wait to watch the Tears of the Kingdom 10 minute gameplay footage. So let's do that now. Here we go. I'm so excited. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. We like news. On the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Yay! Thank you very much for waiting. Many of you are looking forward to this game. I sure am. We've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today. I'm so excited for gameplay footage. Okay. Let's begin. Yes, let's begin. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. I love Link's design for this game. World to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. I am really curious up there. to we see how that works. Islands. You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? I am wondering that. <laughs> if we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Whoa, what is that? Do you see it? I wonder like what a that giant is. boulder. <laughs> oh my god, wait, are we gonna we jump on that? The spot where the object fell. Is it gonna like launch oh, us into the air? Okay. Let's use one of Link's new abilities. New abilities? Sounds fun. Just fell. Wait, I just noticed his shield too. It has like a very ancient looking Sheikah symbol. This power is known as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. We can make an elevator. <laughs> recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. That's amazing. A lot closer to the sky islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. This is so there are cool. A few other sky islands floating here too. This is just so cool. <laughs> I made it. Ooh. Oh my god, look at the view, look at the dragon. Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. The dragons in Breath of the Wild were just like some of my favorite things. Slightly bigger sky island. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. Look at the pretty yellow trees. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. So, I mean, they're going to have, like, cool, fancy, special yellow tree items. <laughs> There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. Oh, I see fruit on those yellow trees. I wonder if it's like this is a brand really good. Whoa! Construct. Look how cool the, the branch we just picked guardian, up. I guess, looks. If they still call them that. <laughs> not good, not good. Quick, wow. Get another branch and we defeated it. Yay! Soldier construct. Zine, zone I charge. Now explored more of this sky island. As expected, oh my god, look, there's like a big temple in the background. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here and do this, look, what? we can stick them together. We created a makeshift hammer. This what? is called Fuse. You can oh my stick god. objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Oh, Let's that's going to be really fun to weapon. experiment with and see what all we can We're make. With two of them at once. Oh, we beat one. The weapons oh my god, I can't wait for this game. <laughs> the other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. Interesting. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, 
Is it gonna be a really long pitchfork? Can create a weapon with a much <laughs> it <attack>. is. <laughs> oh my god. With this, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. This is fantastic already. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. Ooh. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Oh my god, that looks like a freaking tree star from <laughs> Lamb of Four Time. Not arrow exactly, arrow but... <laughs> you can freeze far away enemies. Very That's easy. awesome. In addition, hmm, let's see. Ah, oh, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track Look at the dragon. objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. <laughs> so, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Fuse it to an arrow and. Whoa! On the target. Okay, that's cool. Let's try this on another bird. Huh. I'll just fire in that general direction. Wow, that really goes after them. Depending on what you stick together, the fusibility could also be beneficial for hunting. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, I am this wondering. This mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. Yeah, what is this going to do? Oh. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemy okay. is on the side of Link, so... Attack! Very interesting. You combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. We'll want to cross this one. There's like some sort of track well, going. I want to see what that is. We need a boat. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. Oh my god, we're gonna build an entire boat? We'll Wait, log the vehicles? Log. The vehicles they showed in the, the last trailer, Let's we have to build those? We'll oh, this is fascinating. And attach a third log. This is fascinating. It's a makeshift raft. Wow. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Ultra Hand, Even though okay. Even the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Okay. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, this is it so won't cool. Move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. I can't wait to see the ridiculous There's things people build in this game because you know they it. will and it'll be awesome <laughs> Whoa, look at that thing it's blowing wind that's cool looks like we found a fan put that on the boat we try attaching it you can rotate everything awesome. This should make the boat well balanced. Oh, I see what he's doing now. I figured they would stick it in the middle, but I, I see okay, now. They're attached. The right, uh, let's try moving the boat. <laughs> the boat looks a little hey, sus, but it's, it's okay. It's sailing pretty fast with the wind from the fans. <laughs> it looks. Since we added two fans, we should be. I mean, you all the river see it, right? All right, we reached the other side. Well, look at that creature. In the most recent trailer. Okay, yeah, there's the there's the vehicles. A large car and a flying machine. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. That is really there neat, are though. All sorts of objects you'll come across in this game, and depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. It's like so, Minecraft comes to Zelda. <laughs> Not exactly, but you know. Oh, look at that. There are even more new abilities. 
Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. This has to be a shrine. Look, I passed right through this. Okay. <laughs> this new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through. That's to the floor above you. Very interesting. I'm really curious how that will come into play. What's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. Any ceiling? Okay. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. Stop, you can go straight up through a cave. Here. Look at the little like robot dude. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's really ascending. Oh my god. Okay. We emerged at the top of the hill. Okay. A whole in different the ecosystem. Game, you have to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Okay, Here's I see, example. I see. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. Oh? It seems to be holding a strange weapon. Construct. Some enemies are equipped with fused That's weapons, what they're so called. Not robots, not guardians. Constructs. Ah, <laughs> it me away with wind. Aw, poor Link. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Can we fall all the way oh, back well, down? Let's just return to the surface. Oh! You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. Okay. It feels so good. In look sky, at that. <laughs> you'll be able to look out across the land. That's an excellent view. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. That this game Once is going to be so good. You can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. And, and no fall the damage. No fall damage. There are still so many things I'd like Probably to show you, but Probably will be fall damage if you did that on the land, but you know. What did you think? I thought it was awesome! Some Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. Yay! <laughs> I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. Do what? Game, do what? You can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today. But they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Yay! I cannot wait for me! <laughs> ah, so good! What is this? <gasps> no! <gasps> oh my god! I need this. Y'all, I have three other collector's edition Zelda consoles. I need to get this. I, I need this. I've been thinking of upgrading to the OLED Switch anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm pre ordering that. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. I need to get my hands on one of those collector's edition switches. And God, I just cannot wait to see how creative we get to be in this Tears of the Kingdom game. Um, <laughs> please let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this trailer gameplay footage um, announcement was. I cannot wait for this game. Oh my god. Yay. 